Okay, so here we're going to do another example uh, involving implicit differentiation. So suppose we've got the curve given by x over x minus y equals y squared minus 1, and we want to find dy dx. So this one, uh, same idea as before. Uh, it's just going to be a little more tedious, I think, really because of this fraction more than anything. So, all right, we're going to have to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides. Well, on the left side, we'll have to use the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says you get whatever's in the denominator. And then uh, we take the derivative of what's in the numerator. So the derivative of 1x will just be 1 minus, then we leave the stuff in the numerator alone. And then we take the denom uh, derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of 1x is just 1. And the derivative of negative 1y will be negative 1 dy over dx. And then that's all over the denominator squared. Okay, on the right side, we'll have to, again, take the derivative using implicit differentiation. So we'll just get 2y times dy over dx. The derivative of negative 1 is just 0. So, all right, now um, what's probably the easiest way to solve for dy dx? Well, I think I'm going to do a couple steps at once. In the numerator, we would be left with just x minus y. And then uh, we would have minus, so if we distribute the negative x, we would have negative x times 1, or negative x. And then it looks like to me we would have a positive x times dy over dx. Um, well, I guess I won't do so many steps at once. Let's slow it down a little bit here. All right, well, okay, I guess we can do a couple things here. Um, now I am going to do a couple things. To get rid of this denominator, I'm just going to multiply both sides by x minus y squared and by x minus y squared. So those will cancel on the left. Notice we have an x minus x, so that would actually, those would just cancel out. So really we would be left with negative y plus x times dy over dx. On the right side, I'm going to pull kind of all the variable stuff out front. So we have 2y times x minus y squared times dy over dx. Getting pretty close now. Um, I want to put all the dy dx's on one side. So maybe I'll just pull all those dy dx's over to the right side. So I'll leave the original stuff over here uh, just like it was. But then I'll subtract the x times dy over dx from both sides. Uh, and then we'll have negative y left over on the left. And now we're almost there. All we have to do on the right side is just factor out that dy dx. So if we factor out the dy over dx, in the brackets, uh, or parentheses here, brackets, we would be left with the 2y times x minus y squared, and then minus x. On the right side, we're left with negative y. So to solve for dy dx, we just divide. So our derivative will be negative y over all of this stuff. 2y times x minus y squared minus x. And now we have our derivative.